yeah, he's christened my children, uh, offered this you know, social care, and I was looking for some help through the uncharted moral geography of divorce. And uh, there was no help coming from the church. So the question you keep asking, we must all ask this the whole time, is why? How? I think to some extent it's because of the social dynamics have changed. The parental independence is gone because mothers have the state, this monstrous super nanny who steps in to replace people like me and replace people like you. Single motherhood is a lifestyle choice today. You know, it's like getting a new car, a new handbag, a new man, and after which you can go and get a new face. So fatherhood is under sustained, but it's an insidious attack. That's what we've got to be a bit clever about how we approach these things. I think historically, fathers' groups have channeled their anger in a very bad way. I mean, some people... I know one was saying, oh, Matt has done this, Matt has done this. Matt has developed a portion for very lively shirts and <laughs> pink and purple. But you know what? I do it for a reason. This isn't done just sheerly out of bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> Though I know my boys at the back would say so then. <laughs> this is done, this is my... This is my way of dealing with the attacks on, 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 on men. I've got a purple, kind of long purple jacket, which I've just had made up, and the inside has got a very lively pink, pink lining. So if anybody says to me, Matt O'Connor, you're not in touch with your female side, I'll go, check it out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but it is... In all seriousness, it's about using tools and psychology to fight back. We've got to fight back. Not for us. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm sorted. I could have turned around and said, I'm all right, Jack. I'm off. But we do it for our children. This losing the parent is like an emotional amputation. It's a living bereavement. Boys who are growing up without a father are the boys who will turn to gang culture with other males. And gangs will then fight gangs. And this is now happening in the United Kingdom. There's a great line in a Manic Street Preacher song, I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of it. If you t tolerate this, then your children will be next. But it isn't just the boys. I also want to say something about the girls because the girls in the UK are undergoing a radical transformation. This is a period of huge social flux and change. Girls now in the UK have got the highest rate of teenage pregnancy anywhere in Europe. Underage sex is rife. Binge drinking. Do you know that in the United Kingdom on a Saturday night that it isn't the men that make up, or the boys, or the young men that make up the highest percentage of people entering hospital, drunk? 70% of all hospital am admissions are actually young women. 70%. Women are becoming more violent, fighting in the street. So the social catastrophe that is family breakdown, which we are witnessing, affects boys and girls. So this must stop. We have to stop this. We must act. We must spread this gospel of equality, of common sense. We must believe that we can be the change we want to see. What we started in the United Kingdom, this mad adventure that is Fathers for Justice has seen us fighting them on the streets, fighting them in the courtrooms, fighting them in the media, fighting them in our parliament. We've taken the battle to every 
institution in the battle for equality, in the battle to save our children. If I just ask to be serious for a minute, this is the price of failure in the, in, in the United Kingdom. This is the price of family break now. This has just happened now, this year. I read the people, names of the boys who died. Abu Shaheen, 18, stabbed. Martin Binnigan, 14, stabbed. Ben Hitchcock, 16, stabbed. Anaka Kanashia, 17, shot. Sean Simpson, 18, stabbed. Daniel Johnson, 17, stabbed. Paul Earhart, 14, stabbed. Adam Regis, 15, stabbed. Kajo Yenga, 16, stabbed. Billy Cox, 15, shot. <coughs> Michael DeFumo, 15, shot. James Andre Smartford, 16, shot. Jevon Henry, 18, stabbed. So that's the cost of family law. This wasn't happening until a few months ago in the United Kingdom. But there is a solution. You guys are the solution. What I've started to do in the United Kingdom is look at things to do with social initiatives rather than tackling the problem just from the father down, is to tackle the problem from the children up. And we've been working on a thing called the Future Heroes Project. You know, we're famous for superheroes. Let's talk about our future heroes. Because those are our children. And social issues to help them develop their self-respect, their self-esteem, campaign for change. In the words of Martin Luther King, I'll like finish by saying this. The arc of the moral universe bends towards justice. That justice is here. That justice is the father's revolution. It is time to ask not what America can be, but what you can do to transform your country. Thank you.